Good afternoon, and welcome back to Dylan Pickup's blog. This afternoon, we're going to discuss briefly how an electric guitar pickup works. Stay tuned. So as complicated as people think guitar pickups are, they're actually very simple. It's basically just a inductive transducer, which means it takes one form of energy, being the motion of the string, and it converts it to electricity to go to the amp to be amplified and make your sound. So let's just go briefly through how that actually works. Every pickup has some sort of magnet in it. Now, a single coil like a Stratocaster or a Telecaster, the pole that is in the middle, the actual, the middle of the pickup is the magnet itself. And then it has thousands of winds of wire, very thin wire, wrapped around it. A humbucker pickup, on the other hand, like in a Les Paul or an SG, has two single coil pickups, and it actually just has a piece of metal in it. On one side, it's usually a steel slug, and on the other side, it's usually a screw. There are different versions of that, but that's the most common. Underneath it, there is a bar magnet that magnetizes both sides. But in both of these examples is exactly the same concept in that we're trying to create a magnetic field around a coil. And the reason for that is when the string gets vibrated by our pick or our finger, it disturbs the magnetic field that is created by this pickup. Now this is exactly how a magnetic pickup works. Anytime the magnetic field is disturbed mostly by the string, that's what we want, it excites the electrons in the coil wire to go back and forth causing our AC voltage which creates our sound in our amplifier. Now there's a lot of factors that go into what makes that happen, how strong the magnets are, how big the coils are. We'll talk about all those various things, the various constructions and how all that works. We'll talk about those in, in future posts. But a simple thing to remember is anytime this magnetic field is disturbed, it excites the electrons in the coil wire and it creates a sound. And the reason we mention that is because it helps us to be able to think about how we set up our guitar that we make sure that everything is tight, that there isn't anything vibrating that shouldn't be. Why do we say that? Because the next question that comes up is, what causes feedback? Well, when we play our guitar, especially really loud, which is how we all want to play them, it moves a lot of air in the room. Well, that movement of air comes back and it vibrates the guitar again. It happens very often with a humbucking pickup because there's a lot of little parts in here. So what this means is, remember what we just said, if the magnetic field is disturbed, then it will create a voltage that creates a sound. Okay? Now, if this plate that holds it together at the bottom vibrates against the magnet, or the magnet vibrates against the bobbin, or the bobbin vibrates against this little spacer piece over here, or any of that sort of thing, the magnetic field gets disturbed. It doesn't get disturbed by the string, but the magnet moves in relation to the coil, it disturbs the magnetic field, and it causes noise. And when it causes it at like a constant vibration, it makes feedback. That's where all the squeal comes from. So, this means that you have feedback if something moves that's not supposed to be moving. So if we have a lot of feedback in our guitar and we're trying to get rid of it, what can we do? First of all, we can make sure that everything is tight. And we can make sure that everything is, is in adjustment. The other thing that we can do is we can make a choice about what kind of pickups we choose to buy. And why do we say that? Because the other thing that makes vibration in a pickup is in between each one of these coil wires, it could move also and create that feedback. So what most pickup builders do is they give you the option, depending on the model of pickup, to dip this entire thing in wax. And what it does is it creates hot, hot wax, goes in between all these little gaps, and it takes away the ability for anything to vibrate. 
so that when you pluck the string and you create a lot of room noise, none of this moves and all you hear is the string with no feedback. Now some people don't like the wax and they like, they like the feedback because they use it to their advantage as part of their sound. That is an option. Most people though who play on the weekends, you know, in, in bars and rooms that they don't have control over at high volumes will like what is called a wax potted pickup. So that just gives you a little bit of a rundown of the basic operation of how pickups are made. Remember, kind of remember this sentence though, as complicated and as black art as many people make pickup building. Remember this, this though. Anytime the magnetic field surrounding the pickup is disturbed, it will create a voltage in the coil and that creates a sound. If you think about that, it'll help you to realize how your guitar is set up and what, how it's adjusted and the quality of your pickups, whether it's wax potted or not, and you can make a choice on what kind of pickups you want uh, and all that sort of thing. So, I hope this was helpful. It's a basic rundown of how a pickup works. If you have any questions, shoot us a message. Please subscribe to our blog, and if you would like to contribute an idea for our daily blog, please let us know, and we'll try to cover that question for you. Thanks for stopping by, and have a nice day.